Hey, and welcome back to our series on back pain. Today, I really want to focus on the number one cause that I see in my office of chronic low back pain. And unfortunately, is the most often missed diagnosis with uh, chronic low back pain, and that is sacroiliac joint dysfunction. We actually had a running joke in my residency that low back pain was SIJ dysfunction until proven otherwise, and that's just how prevalent it is. Um, the first part of SIJ dysfunction is really recognizing, is this part of my problem? And there are some really telltale symptoms of SIJ dysfunction um, that will help you distinguish that this may be part of your picture. If you find yourself constantly shifting weight in your, cha in your chair, you can't get comfortable in a seated position. It's telltale symptoms of SIJ dysfunction. If you have pain that gets worse when you go from a seated to a standing position, that is also very common with sacroiliac joint dysfunction. And finally, if you have difficulty lying flat on your back, that's actually really common with SIJ dysfunction. And we'll talk about why, um, some common preceding causes of this, and then what we do about it. So why are the sacroiliac joints the most commonly affected? Let's take a look at our dear friend, tiny spine. Um, and you can see a sacroiliac joint is actually where the three parts of your pelvis come together. So your sacrum and your two iliac bones. <clears throat> this is the largest weight bearing joint in your body and it is constantly weight bearing, whether you're in the standing or in the seated position, it is bearing the most weight in your body. So when you go through that stress of going from seated to a standing position, it has to shift all of that weight through your pelvis, which is why you can commonly um, experience that stabbing sensation through your low back when you go through that uh, particular motion. One of the um, preceding events that's actually very common for this type of um, dysfunction is actually pregnancy. And the reason for that is there are very large ligaments here that are supposed to hold this joint stable. During pregnancy, the um, hormone relaxin, uh, which does exactly what its name suggests, it relaxes all the connective tissue in our body, um, loosens these ligaments. Now, if you're in that state and you have any sort of minor trauma that you may not actually otherwise think of as being trauma, you step off of a curb wrong, you're laying in one position for too long, um, it causes further micro damage to these very large ligaments that never fully recover. Now, you don't want to um, kind of counteract this action during pregnancy itself. It's doing this for a purpose. It's widening the pelvis, allowing hopefully for a natural childbirth. <clears throat> but afterwards, it really just causes pain, dysfunction, and discomfort. So what do we do about this going forward? First is receiving a good and proper diagnosis, which always includes a physical exam. This is one of the hardest things to actually see on imaging. It's never really picked up in a lumbar MRI. Um, can be difficult to see in just standard x-rays until the joint damage is actually very significant. Um, so it's really best caught on physical exam. And there's a cluster of physical exams that a provider will do that can really accurately diagnose this particular problem. Um, once you receive that diagnosis, one of the best things that we have to offer in this case is regenerative medicine. <clears throat> now, regenerative medicine, the whole point is to go in and create a little bit of micro damage um, to stimulate the healing process. The only way to really heal tissues like a ligament um, is to lay down new collagen. Now, unless the body's prompted to do this, it's not going to do it on its own. So what we do is with injection, targeted injection therapies, we create, like I said, a little bit of micro trauma to the area, which then prompts the immune system to come in, lay down new collagen, um, and really heal that uh, tissue. You can think of ligaments kind of like a rubber band. If you have a rubber band, it's brand new, it's snappy, it bounces back when you kind of pull it a little bit. Unfortunately, in this situation, this rubber band has become less bouncy. <laughs> so if you have a rubber band and you 
pull on it and you hold it in a position for an extended period of time and then you allow it to come back. It never returns to that original snappiness. And what regenerative medicine does is it allows us to return that snap to those ligaments. So it holds the bones in the positions that they're supposed to be, relieving any tension off of um, the muscles in the surrounding area. One of the common misdiagnoses with this is actually sciatica, where patients have pain that is traveling down the leg. Um, now in the traditional textbook definition of sciatica, you have impingement at the level of the nerves as they are exiting um, the actual spinal column. Um, in this case, if when this large sacroiliac joint is unstable, the surrounding muscles um, try to compensate and hold that joint stable. What's running right underneath these large muscles is your sciatic nerve. So when the glute tightens down in response to this unstable joint, it compresses that nerve, causing very strange pattern of symptoms down into the leg. Um, this is really easy to differentiate from true sciatica because typically the pain will not go down beyond the knee. It will wrap sometimes forward towards the front of the hip, sometimes go down the leg, but it won't follow the traditional pattern that's elicited when the pain is actually coming from the nerve root. Um, so it is easy to distinguish if you get a thorough history with your patient on the symptoms they're experiencing down into their leg. So um, I hope this video has been helpful to help you understand one of the most common causes of back pain, sacroiliac dysfunction, how to properly diagnose it, what imaging might be appropriate for you, and what can actually be done to help you um, relieve your symptoms. If you found this helpful, go ahead and click like, maybe make a comment and share it with somebody else who might need this information.